Hello everyone. So now we will see how to install Visual Studio to make use of our .NET, right? So now, um, wait a minute. Okay, so now open the Chrome. So in Google, just visit the Google. Here you can search Visual Studio. So this is the official website. Microsoft is the corporation, means the developer of this uh, Visual Studio. ID for uh, .NET applications. So click on this. And uh, here you can able to see this meet the visual studio family so here you can say visual studio for windows visual studio for mac this is visual studio code visual studio code is different so what is visual studio code just it is an editor that runs on windows mac OS, and linux for uh, programming languages okay but here this is the application development platform which is uh, which can be used to develop applications for dotnet so comprehensive ID for .NET and C++ developers on Windows. Now we need to download this one. So now place your uh, cursor here. So you can see uh, download Visual Studio Community 2022 Professional 2022 here is it Community. So you can see here free for individual developers, academic users and open source. Now this ID is open source free to use but professional you need to purchase it. So it is used for companies, small scale, enterprise for large scale companies, okay? So now you need to download community. You cannot, uh, means you can use, but it is uh, only for free trial. After trial, you need to purchase it, okay? So enterprise is also same thing. So now you need to download the community. So click on community. Installer will get download. So your download is in process. Okay open the folder so now we can able to see visual studio setup so double click on this so do you want to allow uh, this app to make changes to your devices click on continue So what it is saying, getting the Visual Studio installer ready. Okay, now, <clears throat> now you need to choose what to install okay now uh, we will deal with the desktop development that is uh, console applications and windows forms right so with the c sharp programming language select this dotnet desktop development and you see we will de uh, develop uh, websites create websites and uh, connect to the databases right so then asp.net and web development click on this and you observe you can develop Azure development okay Azure development is possible Python development is possible right so many are there Node.js is possible right so here universal windows platform development here is see mobile development with C++ desktop development with C++ game development so many are there right so but uh, basically we will start with the console and windows forms and after that, Adobe.NET, ASP.NET. So these two are enough for us, right? So now, now you see total space required. What it is saying? 10.07 GB. So to download this much of uh, um, data, right? We require active internet connection, which is uh, having some good speed, right? So now select this one, install while downloading. And then already it is, uh, by default, it is uh, selected. So install while downloading, it is in... Uh, by default in this mode only. So now just click on install. Now it will take some time. It will take some time to download.
So you can see installing package. So downloading everything, downloading and verifying. After that, installing package simultaneously. Both are uh, completing. So it will take some time. Now downloading is completed and it is finishing up. So 99% installation is completed. Just wait for a while, uh, it will get completed. Installation is completed. Visual Studio ID will get open after this. So now you can see all installations are up to date. So you can see modify, launch, more. So click on. So, uh, however, um, the option is selected launch after installation. However, the Visual Studio will get open now. Now you can see. So it is asking sign into Visual Studio. So your sign in is there, create account is there. So if you don't have uh, account pre-early, so then you can able to create account in the Microsoft at the rate outlook.com in an easy way. Okay. So just if, if you don't want to uh, create account, skip for this now. You can click on this also, but it's better to create account so because it is free of cost right so and then click on create an account okay here so create account so use a phone number instead, get a new email address. So click on get a new email address now. So I'll uh, my name at the rate outlook.com. Okay, already it is available. So that's what is showing red line. Okay, it is, oh, it is also not available. Okay, it is available. So now click on next. Now create a password. Click on next and account is created. If you want to save your password, you can save. Otherwise, so please solve the puzzle so we know you are not a robot. So direction. Okay. And direction is this one, right? Okay. Okay, this one hand direction. So, so hand direction. Right. So hand direction. Submit. Direction. Submit. Verification is completed. Account will be created successfully at the rate outlook outlook.com. Now you can able to sign into 
Visual Studio with by using same uh, user ID and password. Yeah, so click on sign in. Yeah, right outlook like that. Now provide your password. Sign in. Okay, you can select a theme, uh, blue extra contrast, blue light, right? So I'll go with the uh, blue extra contrast. So start Visual Studio. Now, so this is the <clears throat> first uh, opening uh, screen of the Visual Studio. So then here you can get start with the creating of projects. Okay. So I wanted to create the first console application, first console app. So then click on create a new project. Okay. Now it is showing. So all languages, you now select C sharp platforms. So Windows project type. So select a console. Select a console. Okay, now it is showing to console app, a project for creating a command line application that can run on .NET on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So uh, in my laptop, Generally, we will use uh, Windows, right? So then go for the .NET framework, console app.NET framework. It is only for Windows. Okay. So then select this and click on next. So now you can provide, you can uh, create a name for your project here. Or defaultly, some name is given. You can go with this name also. Okay. So then click on create. Okay, now here, so <clears throat> the console app is created. You can see the default port using system, using system.collections, generic link, text, right? So what is namespace, right? What is this system? What is namespace? What is class? We'll discuss uh, all of all these things in the upcoming sections. What is static, void, mainstream, array, ox? Okay, so now this is the entry point of your program where you can able to write statements which you want to execute. Now, what I wanted to do, I wanted to print hello world by using this particular application on the command prompt, okay, on the console, okay. So then you see console dot, it is showing because uh, this is what the advantage of the IDE. So auto code completion, syntax highlighting, okay. So it is showing auto code. So you can see 
you can if you click tab you will get that uh, method uh, in your program right console dot write line here you can able to write the content which you want to print on the console hello world so every statement in the c sharp should get end with the semicolon right so semicolon so now how to run it so just here you can able to see the start button right so click on start before that you can save the program so then after that click on start button command prompt will get open there you can able to observe the output so it is getting open so it is closed as right so why because after completion of the execution command command prompt is going to uh, close automatically right if you want to make the command prompt in a waiting state right so you need to use one method which is console dot read you can use console dot read key you can use console dot read line also you can use right so i will use console dot read line so what this method will do it will waits for the user data it waits for the user input command prompt will be in a waiting state there you can able to right observe the output of your program okay then save the save your program and uh, okay now you can able to run your program so click on start there you go you can able to see the output of our program right hello world got printed in the command prompt the console and the control is waiting for the user data right if i hit enter then your program will get terminates now the con the command prompt is uh, closed and the program execution is stopped right so in this way you can able to start your first console app in visual studio right so this is the end of the session so now in the next classes we will start the concepts in the c sharp what is system what is namespace what is class what is this method right what are objects everything we will discuss